Good afternoon, everyone. I'm FPS Chasley. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters. This mission is called Sea of Okhotsk, and we are to surveil shipping that is leaving the port of both Habarovsk and Magadan. Our detailed mission, we are to figure out if ships are smuggling any supplies to whomever. Uh, I didn't really read any of this crap. So the rebels are trying to sell some weapons to make some money, without a doubt. So we are to um, surveil these ships and, and mark ones that are potentially carrying smuggled weapons. And we got an assortment of weapons. We got some uh, some anti-surface warfare missiles. We got some uh, some some phoenixes, some slammy yars. I see what looks like a, a bomb and some uh, some mines or something. But I don't think we'll be using any of that. So sensors. Let's turn on our radar. Let's turn on our ESM. And then this is the MAD sensor. This is magnetic anomaly detection. This is used for detecting submarines. But you have to be pretty much flying right over them to detect them. So like you have to have them on the sonar. And then if you like can get a fix in their position, then you can use the MAD. But it doesn't work over a huge area. It works over a very small area. Probably no longer than like three, no wider than like three wingspans of this plane. Radar contact bearing three, four, three, range one, three, eight, and this five, mission isn't really that long to do, so probably just end up oh skipping through a lot of whoa ho ho what's going on uh one second okay for some reason the overlay counter is now up in the top right but whatever all right these guys are pretty far away i don't think i'll be able to see them yet we have a underbelly camera here which is what we're going to be this is what we're going to be using to identify these ships on the infrared scale well, let me go to visual first so i can see where the hell this thing is pointed all right uh what are we what are these guys at they're at like 342, I'm going 349, so about minus 7. Uh, what are we at? It doesn't really say that specifically, but let's just zoom in here. New radar contact bearing. Oh, true bearing, very good. Four, two, let's go back this range, way then. One, four, three, Infrared. Zero, five, six, no, I'm not picking them up yet, one, they gotta be too zero, far. Zero, Alright, so let's set a waypoint for these guys. Yep, and then we have to get to Magadan eventually too, so I'm gonna. Put a waypoint up for there. Radar contact bearing. <coughs> three, nine, and, uh, range, <coughs> oh yeah, in the last video I found that you can, uh, zero, three, change two, what speed you want at this waypoint and what altitude zero, you want, which zero, is fucking five. awesome. So I'm gonna actually increase the speed to like 339 knots since we get there. I'm gonna jump up to like eight, 9,000 feet for getting up to Magadon. I wanna like do a flyby of these mofos first. And then, yeah, that's good for that. Alright. So hopefully that'll work out, and that'll be cool. But uh, let's uh, speed up some time and get closer to these mofos. Three, three, five, yeah, since the P3 range, goes so fast, you don't really have to wait very long to get in range of these dudes. I don't know if I'm going to be picking them up anytime soon. And then you can uh, you can take a track and you can make the camera pan onto it, which is really cool. But sometimes it's kind of like wrong. New EW contact. Let's check out the EW station. Do we have a track on the EW? Are we too far? Yeah, that's too far to make any good estimate of what it is. But yeah, this is the mad thing over here. It goes crazy if you go over a submarine. And then your guy's like, oh, mad, mad, mad. And it's like, oh, yeah, it just flew over a submarine. <laughs> but, uh... Continuing with the speeding of time, I'm I'm just gonna rush through this mission. There's no point in really taking that long. Like all these first few missions are just nothing but these freaking goddamn like intel gathering operations, which are crucial, but they're kind of boring. So I just kind of want to get through them. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Things are going crazy. I don't know if they still have anything on the infrared yet. Holy shit balls! And I don't think we have any. Thing on the way of TMA or anything like that, so. Ooh, what do we got? Grisha, Nanuchka. Those are warships. Cruise ship. Ooh, I might want to keep my distance from these mofos. I don't know if they're going to shoot me or not. I mean, they already know I'm painting them, so they probably would have shot me already if they're trying to shoot me. Acoustic, our stations, yeah, not that much going on here. Taco, this is weapons. And up here in the, the cockpit, you could fly this automatically if you so desired. And what is going on with that? I don't know, but yeah, if I had a joystick, you could fly it if you wanted to. <coughs> I could have sworn there's a way. No, that's on the helicopter you can get on the co pilot seat. Because on the helicopter, that's where the weapon station is, but we have our own. Taco. I want some tacos. 
Yeah, Taco. Uh, it's probably got a fancy acronym or something. Nope. <laughs> Get that. Oh, here we go. There's a contact. Howdy doody. Mark. Oh, visual contact. Photo. Three, four, five, zoom, zoom. Range zero, two, six, oh, there are your buddies. Hello. One, zero, zoom in. One, Those eight, are cargo ships. Photo. Mark. Been counter detected. Holy one, shit. Uh, I'm going to pause zero, this. Two, six. Assign track number one. What do we got? What do we got? What we got? Nine, From Commander US 7th Fleet Barry, to Commander three, Patrol three, Reconnaissance Wing two, Detachment range, 1. Zero, Believe you have properly identified two, all weapons carrying neutral vessels from Khabarovsk. Based on common interceptions and increased activity, believe you have been identified by Russian rebels. Not unexpected, but now you must exercise caution. Rebels may attack. Continue mission if, as possible. If not, exit area. Are we pertain? Lovely. Alright, so let's, uh. Let's to Magadon. I think we've gotten all that we need to get down here. I'm gonna give these guys a wide fucking berth. I don't wanna deal with these douchebags. Alright, let's just speed up time then with this waypoint. Get some altitude and some speed. Ah, oh, it's so cool, man. Whenever you could have waypoints, it's so awesome. It opens the realm of possibility. Incoming transmission. Whoa. Incoming transmission. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. What do we got? Intel update. U.S. forces report positive classification of outbound submerged PRC submarine in international waters off the coast of Myang Do port in North Korea. U.S. forces report detection of outbound submerged Russian submarine in international waters off the coast of Myang Do port in North Korea. U.S. forces have detected an assumed submerged Russian submarine Akula open ocean vicinity of Qingdao. Contact was brief and further positive classification was not possible. This is an unexpected out of area operation. Could be an indicator of cooperation between one of the Russian forces, loyalists, or rebels, and PRC. Be aware. Alright, I think all these contacts are just like old as hell now. Let's just start dropping some dudes to clear up the clutter. These radar contacts are probably going to come back up, but I'm just going to get rid of the ESM and all that five, shit. Six, range, seven, one, five, two, and then eight, this guy track, is... what one, is this? Zero, two, 10, 15, radar contact track. Two, five, eight, range, four, eight, nine, three, <coughs> nine, assigned track, what do we one, got? Zero, Any more zoom? Two, no. Two. Am I turning? No, I guess I'm just going that fast by him. I have no idea what that is. Why am I going up so high? I did not order an altitude this freaking high. Alright, you can stop what you're doing. I don't need to be this freaking high. Yeah, these guys will drop on my radar eventually, but yeah, what is this dude? Grayscale, infrared, LLTV. It looks like a warship of some kind. They're on candid camera, bitch. Assign track one zero. Yeah, I guess two, we're moving too fast five, for me to really be able to like take a good look at them from this angle. Too high up to see anything really good. Whatever. He hasn't, he hasn't shot at me yet. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Text message. All right, let's get up to this fucking Magadon, man. It's only gonna take uh, a few minutes to get up there. All right, so I'll meet you guys up there. I'm not expecting anything eventful to happen in this whole transition time, so see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're out of hyper speed and we're up here at uh, Magadan. Got some radar contacts about 40, km 40 nautical miles off, 50 nautical miles off. So let's see if we can get any of these guys up here. Auto trek, yet. All right, let's just speed up time until we catch them up on the monitor then. Yeah, we got ourselves a good, pretty good, pretty good cluster of ships moving out here. I don't know what the uh, the max clip far Z plane is in terms of when you can start seeing shit in this game is, but it might be because I'm actually like pretty low too. If I was higher up, I might be able to see him right now because of the curvature of the Earth, which is model in this game, which is fucking awesome. I always thought that was really cool. Whoa, we are getting close. Right, give me 1034 auto track 1033. Not catching anything yet. What the hell? Infrared. Where are these pricks at? Zoom. Infrared. Oh, I'm looking in the complete opposite direction. I should be looking up this way. 015, about minus 35 ish. 
that might explain it. Uh, still not seeing nothing. What the hell? Where are these dudes? I guess I'm not close enough yet. New EW contact. I'm going to do a little flyby on these bitches. I want to get too freaking close. Nice <coughs> right, dude. Let's auto track on 1030. Anything on the info yet? No. New EW contact bearing zero, zero, one. Assign there we go. I see one, something. Zero, three, six. A little bit of zoom. Mark. Incoming transmission. Zero. Believe you have properly identified zero. weapons carrying neutral zero. vessels from Magadon. That's a mission, ain't it? That is a mission. Alright. Very good. Uh, let's go to the main menu. Save and exit. I forgot to save the second mission as the kilo, but who cares? <laughs> we don't need to be doing that again, so. Um, P6. P3. P3 Orion. My cousin was a navigator on a P3 Orion when he was in the Navy, so that's pretty cool to be able to do that, do this in a P3 Orion. All right, next mission, Ching Dao. Ching Dao. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be racist. All right, we have platform 688I North, 688I South, or Kilo Improved. Uh, this first guy, Jingez Huang, Subbase Recon. Our bias is anti-Russian and anti-rebel, which is like anti-everything. <laughs> and then this is a mission by as a pro-US. I don't see how that's really different. But this is Qingdao Chinese CVBG surveillance carrier. So a CV is a carrier. I guess they have a carrier battle group or something with the Kuznetsov they got. The Kuzia, good old Kuzia. Chinluck Escort has the Kilo Improved Chinese. Let's go with this mission. Chin Luck and their service escorts that are perceived from Qingdao to Yellow Sea, where they will conduct exercises to achieve battle readiness. Once the carrier has reached a designated transit location, you may report back to Qingdao. You've constructed Chin Luck in high secrecy, but I expect other countries may have a suspicion of their existence. Oh, yeah, this guy be the Kuznetsov. It's a Russian carrier that the Russians sold to the Chinese to make a quick buck. Um, you're not authorized to engage on armed forces unless you were shot at first. Identified U.S. submarines may be engaged if the Chin Luck is in danger. <laughs> Good luck with that. Copy the submarine broadcast in more than two hour intervals. Let's see what these other subs are doing. Let's check out this mission. Rules of engagement. Remain at least 12 miles from land. Evade any attempted attacks and break contact. Do not engage. Any info on Russians and areas should be communicated immediately. Monitor all traffic that is heading into Yellow Sea. Detect and classify any submarines leaving Qingdao and company of any battle group. I don't really want... Uh, I didn't mean to do this, but fine. Let's just go with it. I don't want to play as the Kilo. I hate Kilos, man. Especially Chinese Kilos. It's just a crappy platform. Alright, let's just do this as the old 688i then. I hate playing as the Kilo. Alright, mission status. Detect Chinese carrier. Oh god, another freaking surveillance mission. When are we going to get into the meat and potatoes of this crap? Alright, let's go to periscope depth. Make my depth Too shallow for the old toad. Doesn't look like we have anything on the sonar. So I'm just going to speed up time. Let's raise masts. Oh man, we're going two knots. Good lord. Yeah, you can raise all these masts a little underwater. And then we have a very calm seas. Holy crap. Yeah, when you go this slow, you really lose like the ability to control your depth precisely, which is kind of scary. Uh, where do I want to, I want to look this way, which is like 300. Oh, there's something on the horizon, but yeah, you can tell that there's like a curvature of the earth there. Because you can only see the mass, which I just love in this game, it's such a cool feature. Alright, where do you go? There he is. Oh, that's something else. That looks like a cruiser or a frigate. This mission might be over very quickly. <laughs> There's something else there. I can't tell what that is. I just see a radar mast. New contact bearing two, nine, take photos nine. of everything. If the mission's like surveillance, then you gotta take photos. Anything else going on? Sometimes I like to use this because it's just really constant. You don't have to worry about when you mouse over. You can like change elevation. It can make it harder to see masts on the horizon. Anything else going on? Oh, there we go. 
What the hell is that? That does not look like any ship I've ever seen. Looks like there's two ships there. What the frick? Mark. Complete. Mission complete. Wunderbar. Jesus Christ, that's boring. Well, yeah, I guess that's the Kuzia, or the Chinlock, as they call it. Oh, okay, I see it now. That's the, uh... Wow. We must be really low on the horizon or something. That's the front of the ship right there. That's its little, like, catapult thing, and then that's the main sail, the mast of it. So I'll show you in the statometer. Oh, see, this is the frickin' goddamn... Oh, there we go, because that's off. Yeah, this thing frickin' sucks. I hate doing it on the American ship. But yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See if we zoom it out. Look, there's the uh, there's the mast right there, and then the front is the little catapult thing. It's got a, it doesn't really have a, or it's not a cat, it's a ramp. It doesn't have catapults like American carriers do. The ships have to launch off a freaking ramp. But yeah, this mission is over. <laughs> Save and exit. Uh, mission 04688 I south. Alright, one second. I'm going to see how long these missions have taken. I'm probably going to start the next mission. These missions have all been boring as hell. I'm going to get some action in. Alright, so I've used about 16 minutes. So I'll just make that one video. So thanks for watching, guys. I've just been uh, slid and find some more, some more evidence here about rebel movements and the Chinese moving to sea. I don't know what the Chinese are trying to do. They're like, mobilizing their forces. But uh, yeah, the next mission hopefully gets a little more exciting. So see you guys then.